Good day everybody, uh, welcome back to DSC Explorer for one more video. Uh, today I'm gonna try to make a short one because the last one was really long. And uh, because um, the last couple of uh, videos I've been uh, working on the Sputnik region receiver and I was trying to improve uh, that little thing to, to work really nice, I decided to also improve my uh, antenna. Um, right now I have uh, uh, half wave uh, and fed uh, wire antenna uh, for the 40 meters band but um, I'll show you the, the end of the video the um, impedance transformer that I made uh, last year I didn't have the, the things that I needed so I just improvised with whatever I could but uh, I decided to buy a couple of parts and uh, try to build a better one and uh, here we have a little box for electrical stuff it's really cheap probably not even one dollar that I paid for it I have uh, um, the the ferrite uh, it's an FT 114-43 uh, ferrite core and uh, because I didn't have the new wire I decided to break a, an old uh, transformer that I was not using and uh, I have the perfect wire that I need for this transformer I think the um, thickness is uh, 0.6 millimeters I don't need anything bigger because I'm not transmitting I'm only using it to receive but probably I'm gonna I, I could put a couple of uh, watts in uh, this antenna as well I have a BNC connector that I'm going to use and because I didn't had um, 100 uh, picofarads capacitor at 3 kilowatts I'm using two in uh, parallel and uh, I'm going to make a hundred picofarads so uh, I will not film everything you know how I'm drilling holes and everything but uh, I'm going to install all the stuff on the on the box first thing all the hardware that I need I'm going to show you and then uh, we're going to uh, make the actual transformer and solder everything inside um, okay so this is actually the uh, the toroid that I had before uh, installed on the antenna probably I'm gonna use it for some filters or who knows uh, I'm gonna experiment with um, I don't know what the material is so uh, probably I'm gonna need an LC meter to measure the coils that I'm going to build using this one but for now I'm gonna start making a transformer using this toroid and I prepared the box I have the BNC connector installed over here inside uh, I sticked a little bit of um, foam where I'm going to have the um, the toroid sitting probably I'm gonna solder the wires really tight and uh, it will stay here uh, stuck just uh, by um, uh, holding into the wires and the other one uh, the center it will go over here and this one goes to the to the antenna now um, let me start winding the transformer and then I'm going to start soldering all the rest of the parts all right so uh, now I'm going to try to <laughs> Um, add uh, the turns on the toroid and uh, finish winding the transformer so what I like to do is uh, to twist uh, to the wires together one of the ends for about uh, 10 centimeters 10-15 centimeters even though I don't need that much and then usually I pass the wire through just like so and uh, let me see I don't know if you can see it I'm uh, twisting this one slowly and then this one as well because I want the turns as tight as possible and then I pass it one more time through the toroid and also trying to keep it tight and that's it these are the two turns that, uh, that I need for the primary and now with the long part of the uh, 
of the wire I continue Seven goes into the into the opposite side somewhere in here and I continue winding number eight turn 14 there we go let me just cut the extra wire and now let's try to see what we made so we we have two turns primary plus five more turns and then seven more turns over here total we have 14 turns this one the twisted wire will go to the ground this one is going to the receiver and this one goes to the antenna wire and that's it this is our transformer now I just have to clean up the um, the wire and uh, we are going to solder everything into the box okay so uh, not to waste your time i uh, already soldered uh, all the parts in in the box um, i have the transformer uh, nicely uh, sitting on the on the foam piece i soldered uh, the wire that goes to the antenna in the front here when uh, here i'm going to screw the the wire that goes to the antenna in here I have the two capacitors that uh, together in parallel they make uh, 100 uh, picofarads uh, 3 kilowatts each actually it's 3.3 I think again 14 turns total on the um, on the toroid two turns the primary then we continue uh, until number seven on this side uh, number seven is the one that goes through the uh, through the toroid in the other side and then we have seven more turns in here the uh, the um, twisted wires go to the ground connection and the leftover wire goes to the center uh, of the coaxial cable and that's it now I'm just going to add the cover and I'm going in the attic to install it and uh, listen on the receiver to see if I have uh, a little bit of uh, better reception um, the wire it's already installed I'm not gonna show you now it's really late at night uh, it's very dark it's basically uh, 20 meters and well I think it's 20 meters and 10 centimeters um, long that's uh, probably about uh, 4 meters high and uh, I have my friend uh, Hendrik uh, from Germany sending me messages uh, he was showing me his, uh, his uh, very nice uh, cubicle quad antennas in the backyard uh, he has a really nice uh, um, antenna and uh, yeah I hope he's going to make a YouTube channel as well pretty soon he's building some really nice receiver and uh, some other stuff as well passionate uh, about amateur radio 
well, he's licensed. I'm not. I'm going to have to take my license, and uh, I promised him that I'm gonna go visit uh, in Germany, and we can go have some uh, fun together with the uh, radio stuff. But yeah, I'm going to put this one together and uh, listen on the Sputnik receiver to see the results. Well, this was the video for for uh, this weekend. Something short. I'll see you next week. Probably next week I might be able to uh, post uh, two videos. Uh, one in the middle of the week, sometime on the Wednesday or Thursday, and the other one on Sunday. So until then, 73, and uh, have a beautiful weekend.